Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I feel like I could give you a whole lot of excuses. I pinky promised and I broke my pinky promise, but in fairness, when I uploaded my last video and said that you'd see me before the end of 22, approximately 48 hours, I got so ill, like I've never been so ill in my life. So, I mean, now it's like halfway through February, so like that's not necessarily an excuse. But anyway, I thought we're gonna just move on. We're gonna talk about my favorite products that I have been loving recently. I haven't done a favorite in ages, and there's some products I've actually really wanted to talk about. So let's kick it off, shall we? Let's do it in order of application. Now, actually in this video, I have two wombo combos, two things that come together in holy matrimony and look amazing, and I would recommend them individually, but they really come into their own together. So this foundation base, the Glossier Skin Tint, I use the color G11. This I have recommended time and time again. This is really like the only base I kind of use these days. Like, honestly, I would rather use a lighter base and then like touch any imperfections up with concealer or powder or whatever after then just go for a full thick base. I think my skin on the whole is pretty good. So I, I just don't feel the need to do so. This is a super duper light, very runny base. And as I said, I've recommended this time and time again, but a product that's new to me and works so well with this is the Beauty Pie Wonder Filter Brightening Primer. So this is like a pink, almost iridescent color primer, although the pinkness doesn't really necessarily come through on the skin. So I don't think it would matter so much if you've already got like quite like red undertones or pink undertones in your skin. Um, I don't think that will like highlight those. Anyway, if I'm mixing these two together, the, I guess the only thing that is bad about this being so runny is it kind of like, it does actually spread quite well, but I feel like adding these together gives it a little bit more luminosity, a little bit more oomph, and it spreads a lot easier and it's like easier to apply. It kind of has like more of a traditional uh, foundation feel. And honestly, these have been just the absolute dream team working wonders. And for reference, the powder that I used was the Glossier Wilder. So super duper light base. If you don't have a Beauty Pie subscription, I know that like, I think like Charlotte Tilbury do products like this. Like I don't think this is necessarily unique to Beauty Pie, but these together, hear me when I tell you, I have been loving this. I recently went traveling and I only took hand luggage and I still took both. You got limited on liquids and I was like, nope, I need both of these. So would recommend to a friend. Also, because this is a primer, it does have a longevity factor to it. So it does make it last longer as well. I've not used this as a highlighter. I've just used this as a primer um, and all over. And it's not like too like sparkly. There's no glitter or anything. It just brings a lit from within look. Anyway, yeah, these two together, absolute dream team. Sticking with base, I've got a concealer to talk about. So this is by Rimmel. As you know, I'm a big fan of Cruelty Free Beauty and recently Rimmel have become like PETA certified. And what's interesting is I believe they like stopped trading in China or something to that effect. However, Rimmel, along with a few other brands have been able to go like circumnavigate the foreign brand compulsory testing. So I know it's Rimmel, Wet n Wild, Physicians Formula, and a couple other, Supergoop, the SBF company, there's a couple of them, there's about like 10 brands, um, maybe Charlotte Tilbury as well actually, um, that were able to kind of get rid of that, which I think is really exciting. And why I was interested in trying this concealer, so as part of them sort of uh, making a commitment to cruelty free and in this case vegan beauty um, they released the kind and free collection so I think it's predominantly base products so I know they have like a tinted moisturizer type product which I've not tried they've got nail varnishes this a powder and maybe something else I'm not 100% sure maybe a mascara uh, anyway but I was in need of a concealer and I saw this and I kind of thought to myself I was like you know Yes, ultimately I feel like they're doing this as like a bit of a cash grab to uh, appeal to um, an audience that they've not appealed to for a while. And also I think, you know, people will be like, oh cool. Even if you, it's not necessarily a priority for you, like I think it's only seen as a positive. Why I decided to go for it is not everybody can afford a Beauty Pie subscription. Not everybody can afford Hourglass, which is a luxury cruelty free brand now. Like, so the reality is this, a lot of people, this would be more of their price range or what they're willing to spend. So I wanted to give it a go. Um, and also I haven't seen a hydrating concealer in like this type of doe foot applicator situation, which I thought was really interesting. And it's actually really, really good. And I 
loved it so much i basically used it all up held it on to it for this video tried to buy another one and they're like sold out so really would recommend um and when you hear hydrating you might think it's maybe really oily or emollient it's not that at all or equally if you see it in a packaging like this you might think it's really drying again it's not that either it's just got a really really nice texture i think doe foot concealers at a sort of drugstore price point have really come on leaps and bounds and this one is utterly fantastic like it just blends into the skin seamlessly i think this would be a brilliant like handbag concealer i got it in the color 010 fair um i think it's really like nice neutral color really comfortable on the skin really light on the skin honestly super duper impressed by this out of everything and you, it's, except for the wombo combos like i really think this is the thing that i would truly 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 recommend out of this video just because honestly i think it's fantastic like when you hear hydrating here not drying because it's not drying like it doesn't crepe under the eyes like i happily put this under the eyes and i think think it works really well i think it's like six quid seven quid something like that really really good price point so moving on we've got i guess more of a tool and so this is also by beauty pie but it's less so much about this specific brush which is very good i do really like this i do recommend beauty pie brushes but it's more about this size of brush that I want to recommend. So basically, uh, the reason I got this, I'm using this for powder again. I use this to apply um, the Wowder today and that's what I've been using. I've been using them together. I've been really enjoying having a smaller detail brush to apply face powder because these days I'm not so obsessed or like it's not so, it's not so, so much of a priority to have like everything completely flat and set for me like I just like to set my eyelids my under eyes and sort of my t-zone really um and if I've got like sort of any blemishes like I'd want to set that with powder and then maybe sweep this over but because I'm a big believer in setting spray it's not a big issue for me and, and again like sometimes powder can seem really like cakey and stuff and this one's actually really nice yeah I just feel like having a smaller more detailed brush is actually really handy I think this is like a highlighting brush yeah soft highlighting powder I know that Katie Jane Hughes with Spectrum did a brush like basically like this this was my that was my inspiration for buying this and I, I am really tempted to buy the Spectrum set but Beauty Pie brushes are really affordable so i went for it anyway i would recommend if you've got a brush that's kind of looking like this just kind of hanging around i would say pull it out for some powder rather than a big big brush because yeah i've been really enjoying using it and i have found it quite effective when applying my makeup so next up let's go for mascara again this is kind of like a psa i've got on youtube and i still love it this is the kbd vegan beauty go big or go home mascara i got this for christmas and i love it still it's absolutely massive um, what I will say is I'm trying out the Beauty Pie Lash Fuel Serum. So when you see me applying my mascara, I don't know if today, like particularly because I've been filming it, I've been trying that serum out for like four days, I think. I don't know if it's on my, like, ooh, like, cause I'm like paying super duper attention to my eyes that I'm noticing them. But this mascara anyway, irrespective of lash serum is just ace. Like it's the type of mascara that I like. I really like big, volume but not spidery lashes and this gives that i can understand like the whole like clean girl mascara but like that don't really go with black eyeliner you know what i mean so uh for me highly 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 recommend this it's super duper volumizing easy to get off as well i do find sometimes it does flake particularly if i've been you know having a nap but um overall i really would recommend this mascara and i still love it so the second wombo combo that i have to talk about i actually discovered whilst filming my last video so i tried out the beauty pie velty matte lip crayon in damsel which is this one here but i already had this glossier lipstick in trench the ultra lip in trench on and watching that video back i was like oh my god my lipstick looks amazing so i've continued to wear it and i've continued to love it so basically what i've been doing so damsel is kind of like a a mauvey matte color and because it does come in this crayon like it's not like a lip liner but it, essentially i've been using it like what and define the edge of my lips but also i do fill in all of it but it's also got that longevity factor again because it's got that matte texture but it's not uncomfortable like again as i said with the previous wombo combo both work great on their own but both are fantastic and come into their own when they are together this is a really nice matte lip crayon so if there's another color in the range that you like the look of and wanted a matte lipstick it's great like it is really nice um and i'm not like a crazy gloss person but the ultra lip is kind of glossier's answer to a satin lipstick uh this is a color trench which is kind of like more of a brownie color and something about the two of them together just really really works again because this is more of a satin texture it can 
wear off a little bit easier but as I said them together it just kind of like adds a bit more longevity the color I just think really works and is really flattering on my skin tone and I if I'm wearing a nude lipstick these days it's this combination I've been absolutely loving it really comfortable on the lips too like you would think maybe layering two lipsticks it could be quite but it's not like if anything, it feels like quite nice because uh, this is a really nice texture. This one you don't feel on your lips at all. This one is a bit more, it's not like glossy in the sense of like your lips are sticking together, but it's got a bit of slip to it. I don't know, I just think, as I said, both independently, lovely, together, utterly fantastic. Would recommend to a friend. And the last beauty product that I have to recommend is kind of a little bit of everything. This is the Happy Face Extreme Release Seeker Moisture Cream and this is a miracle worker. There's several things that I've been using this for. Primarily, I've been using it for tattoos. If you have a fresh tattoo, this is fantastic on it. What I love about it is it's kind of this like milky gel texture. So it's super duper light on the skin and it sinks in really easily and it's just really nourishing for the skin. So particularly, I've, as I said, like I've done this, used this for tattoos and it's made them heal fantastically. So would recommend for that but also um as i mentioned i've recently been traveling like i took this away with me as like the only like skincare product just because it's like soft and nice and nourishing for the skin like plains are really dry arid environments so um i put this on my hands i put this on my face whilst i was flying and it really created like a comfortable barrier against that recycled air if you have sunburn i've used this on sunburn and it was absolutely fantastic as well honestly i think if you have a beauty pie subscription even like you would read this and think extreme relief seek moisture cream and think that is this really really gnarly heavy emollient oily cream that if you like you put an you know a drop too much on and you're going to break out in spots absolutely not like as i said the texture is glorious and it's not like heavy by any stretch of the imagination but even if you don't put it on your face once even though it's called happy face and you put it on tattoos you put it on sunburn you put it on um any like dry areas like elbows and stuff like i honestly think you should have a tube of this in your house i just find it really really versatile and me reaching for it honestly more than i thought i would that's all my beauty products to talk about but i do have a few miscellaneous things um, I guess it's kind of a fashion thing. Hang on, let me go grab it. It is this coat here by Hollister. Now, Hollister is not my usual place to buy things. And honestly, like, neither is this coat. So I went to New York. I you know I mentioned a couple times I've been traveling, which is really cold this time of year. So I kind of needed a weather-appropriate coat. And honestly, this has come mega in handy. Like, this, like, puffer type situations. As I said, like, not really my usual thing, but it's, like, nice and cropped. It honestly feels like a duvet. I don't know if you're able to pick up in the camera, but this is like a corduroy material. Um, but they did them in a bunch of like either just like this type of material or cord. Um, this was also on sale. I think it was like £45. It was half off. So I don't know if it's still available. But um, honestly, really great steel. You know, like the weather's been gross. If you happen to be up early in the morning, it just feels like you're still wearing your duvet. Um, and I've gotten more use out of it than i thought i would and as i said like 45 pounds for a really warm coat is i think a really reasonable price anyway who would have seen the day of me buying weather appropriate clothes anyway i've got two more favorites that i want to talk about this one is a little random so this is a thermal printing camera and as you can imagine it's made for children um of which i am not but um what's annoying is i ordered the tiger and they sent me the giraffe but i thought like as a 29 year old like maybe i shouldn't kick off about it uh, but yeah this is effectively what it is it's a thermal printing camera so it has no ink no nothing and it prints onto like till receipts which i think is cool obviously it only prints in like black and white it's got like a screen on the back hang on let's turn it on hi yeah so it's got like a screen on the back um so you can see what you're shooting the eye is the camera is it the best most high-tech camera i've ever owned in my life no but um super duper like just i just think it's a bit fun to be honest with you it's cheaper than an instax and uh paper is cheaper than an instax um anyway i picked a few photos i will do a close-up so you can see i think it's a bit of fun and i had a lot of fun using it whilst i was away and just thought you might want a little bit of fun too anyway the last favorite i have i have just written in my notes 
The Roaring Twenties. Paramore and Fall Out Boy have a new album. <laughs> You thought I would make this video and not talk about it. Um, Paramore's album released a couple of days ago and so far I've been enjoying it and I just love that Emo is back, baby. And um, this is why Buy Paramore is very good and I'm sure So Much For Stardust will also be very good. Um, I have the two tracks that Fall Out Boy have released so far I have loved. So yeah, I just thought I could not mention it and I it's one of those things those bands that you've followed and loved for a really long time when they release music I feel like apprehensive I'm like oh no have they fucked it up they haven't they're standing true I would say both artists actually have I guess I don't want to say like returned to their roots but there's definitely a lot more guitar <laughs> in both albums or in both series stuff than like After Laughter and Mania which are their previous albums respectively so um if you kind of want what you think of when you think of Paramore and Fall Out Boy I think the both these albums will give that to you as I said Fall Out Boy's one is not out quite yet but I I'm, I'm feeling good I'm feeling positive um anyway thank you so much for watching as I mentioned I'm using the Lash Fuel serum at the moment I'm filming a complete independent uh review for that uh, but yeah, I've got a bunch of videos planned. Stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, and I shall see you again soon. Bye!